What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina Tana. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are reacting to Tsukimichi. And if you like anime reactions, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you'd like to support the channel, we got Patreon merchandise. Link to those are below. We are reacting to Tsukimichi episode 11. Last episode, we met with the ogres who tended to the ambrosia flowers. Makoto made a contract with a lick. And then something happened in the illusionary uh, city where I think something happened to Fragment and it affected Homoi. And gosh, I have been given some heads up that this episode is going to be tragic. I'm most likely going to tear up in this episode. Most likely, we'll see. So this is what's happening with Tomoe. She got hurt. An explosion. Oh, that's a huge explosion! That was a huge explosion. It looked like a volcano, yo. Oh, he's got a weak body, yo. Unaccustomed to flesh and blood. <laughs> like an old geezer. <gasps> Healing magic! Oh, perfect. He totally sounds like a magic user that doesn't have any physical strength. <laughs> Stereotype, you know. Oh! Oh! The kid is crying! <gasps> Our Alki! Oh no! They're cold! That means dead! Oh. Not dead, not dead. Oh, goodness. I thought you could cast healing magic. Oh, smart Makoto. But can you do that multiple times? Oh. I'm getting bad feelings, guys. This is reminding me of the time I got reincarnated as a slime. When Thalmus set up Tempest so they could invade. I'm getting that feeling. Trying to stop the humans. Oh, this is going to make me hate humans, huh? You sense an adventure on the other side of the gate? Their consciousness. He was sensing their consciousness. Oh. Oh! <gasps> 
안녕. 어, oh, no, these are evil humans. Oh, my gosh. Oh, dear. Holy cow. Disaster. Oh, my gosh. This looks horrible. Koto looks like his brain broke. This is insane. You weach! You weach! Oh heck no! Oh please, please make revenge, please. Oh, I kind of like seeing this dark side of him. Oh, gosh. Dang! I wish I had cued you instead. Jeez. Her precious is insane. <gasps> Did she cut off her hands? Are you going to torture her slowly? Oh, hell yeah! Damn! Whoa, he kicked her! Wow! Twisted values, yeah. Nope, no, you deserve this. <gasps> no, he needed to kill her slowly. Wow, he could be a demon lord. Like a for real kind. Is this the first time he's cried when something died? Not something, but someone. Oh, I just want to hug him now. Like he's having like an internal conflict. Like he's having a conflict with his impulses, his emotions, logic. Wow, that was a short scene, but it was very impactful. I don't know why, Makoto is scary. 
I liked it. I'm not satisfied with that chick's death, though. Oh. Oh, a name. He's giving him a name. Right now, it's like, and on the side note, happy times. <laughs> Oh, you're an insolent adventurer. Non human combination of dragon, spider, and undead. Tomoy was talking about how he was acting like a king of the demi plane, and then he's like worried that he's like non human and such. I'm wondering if these comical scenes that he does is like a barrier, a way for him to cope with these weird, unusual, hard to deal with situations. <laughs> She's jealous. Bra, if he gets a lot of servants and he learns how to use all of their powers, he would be invincible, right? Oh, servants' abilities manifest uncontrollably. <laughs> Mia wants her power to be used. <laughs> she wants to have a stronger choice with Makoto. <laughs> Some ways having a good time with this. He's superior to meal in something, right? You see me withering in. Oh gosh. Oh! <laughs> Oh. Wow, they're taking more precaution. They're still gonna do the illusionary, illusory city, but they're gonna build a wall. You would think that he would lose all faith in humans right now. Ah, oh, this is like a rude awakening. Yeah, we don't want anything like that to happen again. Fire extinguishing mechanisms and shock absorbers. Wow! Isn't that something we have in our world? Oh. Often seen with him.
was so sad. They like totally got us to fall for this orc, you know? We were getting attached to him and he dies. Sad. Interesting how Shiki's with him all the time now. Mia and Tomoe must be really busy. Mm-hmm, you gotta think about the Denver Plains future, yo. I wonder what he's gonna do with the demi plane. Oh, a place for his store. He's freaked out how it looks so similar to Japan. Guard. Ooh, a letter of recommendation. This, it feels like he's Done with his time at Seagate, and now he's going to go through Rolt's Guard. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Their reactions! We have such a, <laughs> such a reaction to something so small. <laughs> Interesting changes to important mission. So, I feel like he's a pushover. Mmm, <laughs> that's true. They're a bit, uh, destructive, those two. He wants to know more about the world, humans, and the goddess. Grants and demons. Are you going to the academy as a student? Parting gifts. Oh, cute! The reaction of Tomoe's. New residence! The forest ogres. Bodyguard, post a girl. <laughs> he knew she would react to post a girl.
This totally feels like the ending of an arc. But don't we have one more episode? Oh no! Oh no! Goddess is involved! Oh god damn! Damn! The war is finally beginning. Yo! Well, crap! His fingers! Yo. This just changed all of a sudden. Isn't she the chick, the dragon slayer? Yo, this episode was like kinda emotionally like all over the place. I was super sad, I was mad, I was happy, I was frustrated, I was oh my goodness! Just all kinds with little scenes and oh my goodness, I feel like this was like fast forwarded to get to a certain point in the story because that whole part where the goddess summoned him and brought him to this place and that chick that totally looks like she's the dragon slayer, <clears throat> the one that was like the number one uh, adventurer in that first town, you guys remember? And it's like, okay, this is a lot happening. And isn't there only one episode left for this series, for this season? It's like, okay, how much are you going to put in this next episode to answer everything, you know? Because Makoto was sent, was, went to another city, Rock or something like that. And then, and then um, the forest ogres are going to go to the Demi plane. And then... Like, there's war going on between two kingdoms, or two kingdoms are involved in a war, and there's a goddess. Oh, gosh, the goddess. Oh, I really dislike her. And then there's Makoto being summoned, and he's encountering these two new people. It's like, yo, how are you going to explain things and kind of, you know, tie loose ends for... The season finale. I'm just saying, if you're gonna have this last episode to have us excited for another season, bruh, you better bring it. And that's my impression. Okay, that's my impression of this episode and such. What'd you think about it? And what'd you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord link is in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash Lucosa Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is in the description. We're available on all platforms. And other than that, my name is Lehua, and this is a Super Fina channel reacting to Tsukimichi episode 11. Hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Laters.